Well, greetings and salutations. This is Rick. I do hope everyone's having a great day. Are you feeling a bit Christmassy yet or holiday-ish? Uh, whatever uh, term you use these days to describe the 25th of December. Um, I'm, I think, I mean, today is Sunday and uh, it's what, what are we, three days away from Christmas Day. It's Thursday, isn't it? So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, th- oh, four days. And um, I think today I just started feeling a little bit Christmassy because I was wrapping all the presents that I bought. But um, yeah, is anybody else uh, feeling Christmassy yet? I think for me, that that kind of Christmassy feeling, it's been diminishing year by year. I don't know whether it's a growing old thing or, or whether it's just got all a bit too silly with the whole consumerism thing that seems to dominate it all. And, uh, uh, you know I, know, I know as a kid, I mean, Christmas was just like, you know, the best event of the year. And uh, I had a, a number of rather, rather pleasant experiences at Christmas with uh, certain toys that I got. I think the best one I ever got was a, uh, a Hornby 125 train set. Uh, absolutely. I, I just fell in love with that thing the first day I saw it come out and you know, I was kind of drooling over it for the whole year and then at the end of the year my parents saved up and got it for me so I was really really uh, really thrilled and I think I went on to build a, uh, a really big uh, model railway layout after getting that so it kind of it, it kind of launched me on my one of my early projects um, as a, a kind of a mad projecty person but uh, I think another year I had a my first proper push bike I think I was probably about 13 and my parents got me a uh, it was like a racing bike and that set me off on my career in uh, cycle touring I joined the cycle touring club I started uh, racing for the local uh, racing club and doing time trials and everything and it was absolutely fantastic experience and it all revolved around a, a Christmas present but uh these days I don't know Christmas you can take it or leave it really I'm really not that bothered I haven't even got my decorations up this year um, although I've got, got lots of cards so I've kind of got those out on display but uh, you know I, I just I don't know can't get my head into it this year not not like a you know normally I'd have a tree up and a few decorations and stuff but uh, I just I just haven't felt inclined this year really so obviously as you get older and you sort of you know you get older and grumpier <laughs> you tend to um christmas doesn't mean quite so much as it used to and it's sort of mostly about the kids i think you know sort of getting their present obviously the main message of christmas kind of it's been lost pretty much in the whole consumerism orgy that uh, we all seem to go into um or many of us do i mean my town becomes a kind of a no-go area in the weeks running up to christmas you know anywhere where there's a, a shopping center or a you know outlet village or whatever um, you're just you basically if you even get near those places you're guaranteed sat in a traffic jam for at least half an hour um, you know they can be absolutely bonkers and uh, in a way it's kind of from a human perspective it's a little bit embarrassing especially when you look at you know the rest of the world and there's us kind of um, getting so carried away with you know sort of having to get the latest toy or the latest gadget or whatever and then of course we got sort of folks on the other side of the world are barely barely scraping a living in fact I was watching a, a documentary on BBC one uh, pa- panorama this week and it was all about Apple and uh, the conditions of their workers they have a lot of workers in China and uh, the conditions for these folk are just absolutely appalling and you know these guys are made to work sort of 70 80 hour weeks and they're getting like a works out about a dollar an hour and you know there are there are the system put in place is just literally to uh that their existence is purely just for work it's all they can do just to exist and uh you know in a way it's just kind of i, I don't know because i mean i'm a total hypocrite because I still buy stuff that's made in China and things like that and then you think well if you don't buy the stuff you're going to put these people out of work and then they really are going to starve at least they got something but then it doesn't really justify it you know we're not put on this planet to 
just barely get by and scrape a living, especially when there's so much abundance around. And uh, it kind of is frustrating, you know? And uh, so I sort of tend to notice it a lot more this time of year. Um, uh, but, you know, I know we say sort of, you know, what can we do about it? And I know people will say, well, vote with your wallet, you know, stop buying the stuff. Uh, stop buying the stuff made in China. Stop buying the um, uh, the the goods that lead to these people being exploited. But it's actually it's just not. I think it's that simple because there's far too many of us that carry on buying that that stuff. You know, so little old me, if I suddenly stop buying stuff made in China, it's just not going to make the slightest bit of difference uh, in the world. Um, and I don't, the problem is even now, you know, as I've got through life, I don't know what the answer is. When you start to learn about the world and how it really works and what goes on in the background and, and you know, um, it kind of puts you in a state of conflict, you know, with yourself. Anyway, that's it from Rick World. I just wanted to say uh, a quick uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and uh, I hope everybody has a great time over the next uh, week or so and uh, I will be back with a, a new video in a week's time probably maybe less I don't know I just kind of make them when I feel like making them so uh, until then have a great Christmas everyone happy holidays and uh, have a good time be safe and I will see you guys in the next video take care